Hello, my name is Victoria Rose. You probably already know that, but if you're new, I'm an autistic solo female travel YouTuber. I don't know, social media is my job. If I had to sum me up to you. So, hello. Um, I'm alone in Germany right now, on a whim. Now, let me just recap where we're at this adventure so far. I'm going to speed through because honestly, I have ADHD and I'm really bored of my lonesome weeks of travel struggles, so I just want to like move along. I took myself out on a date, mostly because I was starving because all the shops close at 8 and I felt bad for not feeding myself properly, <laughs> as my luck has it. I'm, I'm in the most logical planned country in the world and the train just happened to be delayed for just so long without any instruction. Okay, everybody's waiting. That's why I'm having help to wait with them. Nobody knows. We've been waiting the longest. Yeah. We've been here for like an hour. Yeah. So. I actually supposed to work here in a bar right now. Like I just got a job, <laughs> and I just left in the middle actually because they were so unorganized and there were so many people and I was like. <laughs> You're just like you just, just like to just run. I, I fucking I'm not joking. I just left. I didn't even say anything. I just walked out. Oh wow! You don't even tell them. No, I didn't even tell them. No. <laughs> I just Anyways, got some food. Looked around. Blah blah blah. That was an absolutely lovely date. They even gave me a free cro croissant thingy. My life <laughs> is always in a craze because when you choose a different type of life, you make your own rules. And sometimes when you make your own rules, it gets pretty messy and sloppy because you don't have a blueprint. You're just experimenting the whole time. So I did a little filming or helping to narrow Daniel film and now I'm meeting up with my other friend. Um, I haven't met her yet. So <laughs> this is what I do, I just like being up in front of people. I met up with my lovely friend and went on an even better date with her to, <laughs> to this cool artsy place. This is the beehive. The beehive and this is the bathroom. I feel like that makes sense. Yeah, you put the beehives. Love the bathroom too. I'm a little allergic to honeybees, to be honest. Let's get out of here. Got a couple of beers, very German, and then went and got vegan hot dogs. Okay, cool. So I made it back to my hotel. Then I had to move um, into the most budget hotel I could. I'm sweaty and I don't have a fan in here or air conditioning, because again, Germany, what's up with your air conditioning? Or lack of, there's, there's like nine, nine air conditioning, nine, <laughs> like, fast. Because again, horrible planning and short notice. And I needed to make a decision. I was putting it off because, yeah, I mean, I'm lazy and I didn't know if I could afford to stay in Berlin, but I needed to decide. And like now, because my hotel stay here is up again. Everything takes way longer when you're traveling than in normal life because you don't have your normal routine. You have to always find new places. And I know that it's probably a, a bad. I know it's a bad idea to keep switching hotels, but it's because of my, I don't have plans. Mm. Let's sketch here. Laundry's all done now. Cost like ten euro to do, but this is my I'll spill all these out so they can dry properly and I'll put all those away. Yeah, just put them all over the floor. Are we going to go to Berlin? All will be revealed. I did something. I bleached my eyebrows. All right, so I'm in Munich right now and it's my last day here. So I'm gonna solo female travel over to Ber up to Berlin. I wasn't going to do this because I'm like, eh, I don't think I can afford it, but I found a flex train that's like 20 euro to ride the whole night through up all the way to Berlin and I found a space hotel. The first things first is that I had to check out this hotel at 11 and my train doesn't go until 11 night tonight so I don't know where I'm going to where I'm going to go today. This is this is the problem. I have a bunch of suitcases and I'm just going to have to be out the entire day and I'm not going to sleep. And I hate that because I get very um, sleep deprived. I'm gonna go check out now and wander around aimlessly for hours upon hours upon hours. I don't know. I'll go to a coffee shop. <laughs> Let's go.
stay here for like 10 hours. <laughs> I'm gonna do this for coffee and then slowly drink it. I left my bags at my hotel. The worst thing about traveling alone to me is when you don't have a place to go or to be and then trying to find a bathroom. I found one, but it was a euro to get in. Today was becoming a very lonely, homeless day that I didn't really like. At this point, I was just going into shops to try and pass time, but I was spending too much money and I was tired. Um, but I did find this vet vegan. It was vegan spam. Okay, it was vegan. Still just walking around. I haven't found a place to make home yet, make base. <laughs> the vegan shop was too crowded, and then the other place didn't have internet, and now I'm at a loss. I don't know what I'm doing. I have to go to the bathroom again, though. I know, I know I'm not doing this right. I know I'm a bad traveler. I could never be a backpacker, but this is this is what this is what it is. It sucks. I'm too tired, I can't keep wandering, so I spontaneously got a hostel. Because I'm tired and I want to nap. I don't think maybe I'll fall asleep, but at least I can just lay down. Because I did not sleep last night. Where am I? So I'm walking there now. I still have my luggage back at the other hotel. I just, I can't, I spent so much money on just trying to find Wi-Fi. So I spent $14 to get a bunk bed. Let's go see what I just purchased. I mean, you guys know that I hate a lot of things and I also hate hostels, but this is just for the day. And also this was one of the cleanest hostels, actually the cleanest hostel I've ever been in. So way to go Germany on that. If anybody out there is unfamiliar with what a hostel is, which you're probably not, you basically rent a bunk bed in a in a room full of like 10 other people and you share a bathroom and common area. What the fuck? Oh, here we are. I know that I travel and stuff, but I'm not adventurous and I don't like people. So the reason I don't like hostels is because there's too many people, too much stimulation. I, I cannot sleep in a room full of that many people. And um, the one good thing, though, is they're very, very cheap. This one was only $14. It was very nice because I could connect to the Wi-Fi. It was cool. It was comfortable. And in my mind, I was not homeless anymore. <laughs> and I could wait out my last few hours before I had to board my train for Berlin. I always like to give a, a review of the places I stay. Um, this is the bathroom. Um, very clean compared to, like I said before, a lot of other hostels are pretty dirty. And this is the toilet area. They're separated. It was finally getting closer to whenever I was to leave to Berlin on the Flix train. First, I went in sight, saw just a little bit more in Munich, and then I headed to the train station. All right, here we go again on the train. I need to find some water first, though. So the machine just ate my money. We just ended up spending way too much on water. So, great start. <laughs> I need to wash my face, I'm tired. I think that the cheapest way that you can get from southern Germany to Berlin is to take a Flix train. It's around, it'll be around 20 to 50 dollars, and it takes around eight to nine hours. Also, they have Wi-Fi, 